So we are actually going to taste this bourbon we've been talking about. It's launching in South Africa this month, and we're going to compare it to a very popular whiskey that South Africans really love to drink. It's very popular, it's available here now. And we're gonna do a little bit of compare and contrast, see what the differences are. So which one should we taste first? I think we should taste the one we're contrasting first, All right. which, which is this one right here. Uh, the way you, way I like to taste them and the way we taste them and compare them at the distillery in the lab is we'll take a little sip first and, and that is uh, to clear your palate. Okay. And then we'll take a second sip and that is what the whiskey tastes like. Spicy. Caramelly, not, not vanilla. As caramelly, not as warm in the mouth and the throat right. than you thought. And then about six to eight years old. Okay. And then we'll contrast. We'll contrast a very popular brand mm -hmm. here. And, and uh, what you'll notice, the nose will be a little bit different. Mm. It smells like bananas. Yes, bananas and a little bit, a little bit maybe medicinal, I think. Mm, slightly. Like banana medicine. Slightly. I'm from Canada. Yeah. We used to get banana medicine yes. when we were kids. Yeah. It smells like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and, you, and this is, will be about four years old. The bullet is six to eight years old. All right. So take a little, same thing, two sips. All right. And you will notice it is a little warmer in the mouth and the throat. Mm, it's, it's a different experience. It's a different yes. experience Completely altogether. Completely different experience. Exactly. Uh, for instance, from a, from a distilling standpoint, we all use column stills mm -hmm. in the U.S. with doublers instead of pot stills like they use in Scotland and Ireland. And so column stills with doublers, uh, the, the brand, this brand uses the whole still. Mm -hmm. And we will do something, some of the Scotch brands do this too, they call it wasting the heads and the tails. Okay. And they won't use the first and the last of the distillic run. They'll select the middle point, which is kind of what is called the heart of the whiskey or lots of things, maybe even the golden band. Mm -hmm. It is the ethyl alcohol. So that will be a, and that's why you're experiencing a little less a little warmth in the mouth outcome. and the throat. 